Hey guys, this is Tuber, welcome back to the Space Guys of Arcadia Legends. I was taking the liberty to run down back to the yell to the uh, elevator here, but uh, the scene started up right when I started going down, so I loaded up the recording as fast as I could. Anyway, what's going on? the spotlights. If you get one, you get into a, basically a random battle. You can still run into them otherwise normally, but you're guaranteed to get one if you get caught. So just do your best to avoid them. They, they're pretty pattern based, so you can, you, you can easily uh, avoid them if you... Alright, there we go. I know the spotlight doesn't go away if you get caught, it just goes a little temporary. Like, oh. Alright. Now you may be asking why did you come down here? This is why. Moon Bay! And no! Come on, we need four to learn that? My god! Weiss, you are a hungry bastard. Then again, it's also probably the best super move in the game. That powerful. Oh, that's cheap. In retrospect, fighting all these battles is actually a good thing because I'm getting more experience. Anyway, before we open this chest, we're going to actually want to heal up. Excuse me, wrong one. And now, we'll get into a fight with none other. But the ever sneaky and elusive Zivil and Bane. All right, so as usual, he is a red element enemy. So you want to use purple or blue on him? So let's just switch everyone over who's on silver to purple real quick. Um, let's go ahead and get off a Cliff of my on Vice. We will have a. Need to go to purple. You can focus. Focus to and so I was really hoping we'd have pirates. Pirates, I, I spoiled the first word. It's uh it's a really good super it's starts with pirates. That's not too bad, spoiler. I was hoping we'd have his fourth super move before this though, because it uh, does a lot of damage. <laughs> And it'd be a lot better than Cutlass Fury. Anyway, here we go. Cutlass Fury! Uh, and we will just defend with everyone else. Except for him, who's gonna gunsling him! Come on. So, Zimbalan Bane. What kind of a dancer Dance are you? Me. I have not skipped this if I ever showed it. He was actually moving around in there. Yeah, that's a lot better. Alright, come on. Can you blame me? It's a good thing we defend him. I really just like Gunslinger. Alright, alright. I won't Gunslinger. I'll just defend. Go, Vice. Finish him off. Let us be thankful for our safety. Kind of, yeah. And there you have it. We also get a, we get a vital seed. And an unholy dagger. No, that is not a weapon for vice. Here, I'll show you. See? Not... nothing special. 
And it's just an item we can sell for a lot of cash. Anyway, a vital seed. Increases magic HP by 30. We'll give this again to Fina, who is catching up pretty nice and well on uh, Aka in terms of HP. Anyway, we'll head this way again. Just a few more spotlights to avoid. Head on up to avoid this one. Now we'll switch down here, because it's going to go... Get some long end. End of this door! Anyway, you're going to want to heal up here, which I'm going to do real quick. Sacrum. There we go. And let's take Papa. Ooh, no! I keep hitting that. We'll pop a save real quick here. Uh, we'll hit the frontier. We'll cut, we'll save over this frontier lands. There we go. And as soon as we go through this door. This scene and be greeted by that boss time. <laughs> All right. So in this battle, you want to fear for Aka and Fina's lives. This is the Drac Dracor tank. It's red element. So you're going to be pretty well set up from the Zivil and Bane fight, which is why I didn't change. Uh, you're going to want to go through my advice. Aka and Fina, like I said, you're going to want to defend them a lot just because they're going to be taking a beating from this thing. You don't want to guard them constantly, but it's a good idea to guard them pretty often. So we're going to focus on Gilder to build up this key advice. I should be okay because of the increased defense from this, and you've got a lot of HP naturally anyway. Real Blast, yes, this is the big move you want to work with. Watch out for. This is what will absolutely murder them. Well, he didn't see He's not going for him, he's going for Vice. Yeah, you can see that did 13,000 damage to Vice alone. And he's pretty beefy, you know. Anyway, we'll have. A or we'll have Aka. Well, not yet. The chances of him actually targeting Vice twice. Is pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and do a lot of focusing this turn to really build up some spirit here. Whoops! Come on, skip, skip, skip. And yeah, you can see we don't do a whole lot to it. This is another reason why I wanted that last super move. It really just takes too long to take this guy down unless you have that final one. And he's just attacking, so that's good. Ooh, and we got a counter. Just to make sure he is weak to these elements, yeah. Okay, we'll do one more Cutlass Fury. And we'll... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to get a uh, Lunar Blessing set up. That way we'll kind of be uh, regenerating over time. And no, we'll focus with him. That'll be good. That's really good for these long fights. It's probably going to take about another, I'd say three or four of those to take him down. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's going for Aka. She might go down for this. Oh! I did more damage to Gilder. Oh, but Aka was. She was defending. That's good. That's. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll have Vice do one more Cutlass Fury. We'll have her defend, you defend. No. I. I don't like that defend command, how it's just automatic like that. You really gotta be careful what you do with your fourth character, because every every other character you can go back if you really, really need to. But the rest you can't. 
so we'll have him use a sacred crystal. After this arrow, we have, I've got to go buy more. This should work. But we'll be heading, we'll be pretty free after this. That's good enough. The regenerating can take care of the rest. Oh, come on! I just healed him. Ugh. Alright. Well, he should be down, so I'll, be, I'll just... Blah. I'll use magic. I'll have him sacrifice. Or not. I can't figure it out to survive. I'm not going to be Never mind. And there you have it. All in, all in a day's work. <coughs> Excuse me, cough. Level up. Rank up. Wevelys and Rise of the Crystals 5. That is amazing. Oh no, the alarm. This isn't good. In a few seconds, this place is going to be crawling with guards. Quick, get on the lift. Someone's telling us to get on that thing. We can't see who it is. Vice, what should we do? Well, we can either take our chances, or this could be a trap, but I say we take our chances and hop on. We just stand around here, we're gonna get caught anyway. We should take the lift. That's true, it looks like our, it's our only option. Alright, let's go. Hail! <coughs> Excuse me. So you're Vice. I am Enrique. Enrique, <gasps> you're the Prince of Valua. <laughs> you're the Prince? Haha, <laughs> yes I am. After you escaped from your cells, I figured you'd head for the docks to try and steal a ship. Please follow me. Oh man, we got caught. Alright, what's going on? Why is the Prince helping us? I have no idea. Should we, we should probably follow him. Walk this way. Where is he taking us, guys? Where's he taking us? We got. What's this? Fancy! What the? You probably already figured out what we're on on the bridge of a ship. Say hello to the Delphinus, the newest member of the Armada. This is my personal flagship. It is heavily armored and can still match the top speed of our cruisers. And it is equipped with the weaponry of a heavy battleship. It's amazing! This ship is the, pr is the prototype. Soon we will begin building a whole fleet of Delphinus class ships. Blua plans to use these ships to take over the world. That's not very good. We can't let them do that. Whoa. With a whole fleet of ships like this, Blue would easily be able to take over the world, especially since Nasrite has fallen. So your royalness, there's still one thing that I can't figure out. Why would you help us escape, then take us to the bridge of your flagship? You've gone through a lot of trouble just to show off. Yeah, Gilder has a good point. I I want you to take the ship and I want you to take me with it. What? Are you serious? Valua has been taking over the other countries by force, destroying their lands and murdering the innocent. As a prince of the Valuan Empire, all the innocent blood spilled by the Armada is on my hands. I've done all I can to convince the Empress and Gaoshan that the whole that Valua is doing is wrong but I cannot convince them to change their ways. Everything I have tried has failed. I am powerless to stop them. My only chance for redemption is to aid you. Please, take me with you. 
I will even go with you as a hostage. So, we can either take him with us, or we can say we say we, we, say we can't exp trust him. But, because he's been so nice to us and uh -huh. given us this amazing ship, I say, of we say of course. Of course you can come with us, but there's one problem. The blue rogues don't take hostages. If you want to sail with us, you must do so as a blue rogue. Hey. Thank you. I will do my part as a member of your crew. You know, I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Vice of the Blue Rogues. Uh. <laughs> it is an honor to be a member of your crew, Vice. I never would have thought I'd be riding in the same ship as a Valuan, let alone the Prince of Valua. But the crystals are still in the hands of the Valuans. Yes, you're right. Well, technically you're right. What? I have the crystals. I stole them before I came to the docks to find you. I was going to destroy them. But perhaps it would be best if I return them to you. Please take them. Wow, Enrique, you've done so much for us already. Thank you. Yes. Heh, <laughs> you act an awful lot like an air pirate for a prince. Alright, start the engines. Let's take the Delphinus and get out of here. Yeah! So how are we going to run this thing with, like, six people? I, I would like to know, it is kind of a massive ship. We may have to start looking for some, uh, crew members, guys. Let's go, Delphinus, full speed ahead. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. What are those things on the side? I never understood that. Well, we went from the little jet to this. That's a heck of an upgrade, isn't it, guys? <laughs> oh, man. It's not a very fitting ship for an uh, air pirate, but it's still a ship, and it is amazing. still so tiny though compared to this. I can show you how big all of this is. Uh oh, cannons are facing us. Turning! Oh, I just can't get over how awesome this ship is. They sealed off the entrance. I wouldn't worry too much about the corners. The spot where I blow up the cannon should be weak. And if the ship's got the firepower that the said, we should be able to blast our way out. Well, here goes. And we have a ship battle. The first one with the Delphinus. And oh man, are ship battles in this game easy? And what is that? Vice, just to let you know, the Delphinus is equipped with the lowest, newest, most powerful weapon. It's called the Moonstone Cannon. Until recently, it was only an experimental weapon under development by Lord DeLoco. He used data collected from the red and green Gigas to develop it. He says this cannon's power rivals that of the Gigas themselves. Wow! With the manufacturing cost of the cannon so immense the ship is... This ship is the only ship in the entire armada. Wow, that means the ship is as powerful as a Gigas then. I can't believe it. Well then, fine. Let's give her a test run, shall we? Just use the s cannon command and we'll be good to go. Yes, we have basically got a flying Gigas for a ship. That is awesome. Here's the S cannon. So we're just going to want to do that. For that turn, we'll use a gear grease here. And we'll defend the last two turns. You know what that means, guys? Well, beyond the fact that we're awesome, I think any more geeks that we run into should be uh, cowering in fear. See Grendel or Recumen take us down with this puppy. Also, we have a lot more health if you paid attention. It has like 44,000 HP. 
Now this is our ship for the rest of the game, and this is why I debated, should we, uh, and yeah, look at how little that damage, damage that did. Seriously. Anyway, this is why I debated whether I wanted to use those captain stripes earlier in the game on the little jack, just because this is the ship you went you finished the game with, and because, you know, you get like five or six from there, so you can have like 50k from the get-go. But in retrospect, we have 44,000 HP and the timer is going off, so we don't need to. Anyway, we now have enough to use the S cannon. Get ready for the gun show, baby. We'll just focus up one more time. Check out the gun show over here. Come 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 oh yeah! That's also why he used to gear grease. I knew we'd get one back. <laughs> right through the Grand Fortress and escaped again. We did it! I can't believe it. We just broke through the Grand Fortress. You sure know how to break in a new ship. Now we can finally continue on our search for the other moon crystals. Well, Valua, it looks like this is a goodbye for now. That is a massive hole we blew in that, considering how large that puppy is. Come on, cutscenes, hurry up, I need to end the episode here. escaped from the Grand Fortress. Twice! Yes, I'm happy to see that we're all together again. Some of us happier than others. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Gilder, I'm so happy. I'll never let you go. Out of one prison, into the next. What's wrong, Gilder? You guys make a cute couple. I'm very happy for you, Clara. Oh, thank you, Fina. This is too good to be true. This is the happiest day of my life. I'm really starting to miss that jail cell in the Ha! Well, since we have a new ship, I believe it's time to decide on a captain. Even though this is my ship, I am not an experienced sailor. I would feel more than comfortable with someone else at the helm. I knew who I cast my vote for. Vice, you're the best man for the job. I agree with Aiken. I feel most comfortable with you as our captain. I know that I just met you, but there's something about you. I think you'd make an excellent captain. You're a great sailor, Vice, and a good leader. I think you'd make a great captain. Well, it seems unanimous, Vice. Will you accept the responsibility of being captain of the Delphinus? I'll do it. Uh -huh. I won't let you down. That's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Besides, wasn't it your dream to be a captain of your own ship someday? Oh yeah, the Delphinus is going to need a new flag. Right, Aka, every crew should have a flag that symbolizes what they stand for. Why don't we start working on one now? The Delphinus should have a flag as soon as possible. Right, I think Vice, Aka, and Fina should be get together and design a new flag. Being a Prince of Aloha, I don't think it's my place to design an air pirate flag, but I know I can judge any ideas that you have. What? You want me to design one too? Sure, why not? It'll be fun. Just give, it a just give it a try. Hey, Vice, I want to take a look around the Delphinus. I think we all should. We should split up and check out the ship. If something's wrong with it, it's better to find out now rather than the heat of battle. Sounds good to me. Break time, everyone. Meet back here at the bridge when you're done. Alright, guys. I 
think what I'll do is I'll end the part here, and next time what we'll do is we'll explore the Delphinus and check it out, see what there is. I'll give you a nice little tour of it, because it's a lot bigger than the Little Jack. It's not completely massive, but it's still fairly big. So I'll, I'll see you guys next time for the tour of the ship. See you then.